Quatran, and this is BDTV News. Now the special report from feature reporter Kayla Henderson, who is in Bradford's Construction Technology Department. Hi Kayla, what's today's story all about? Thanks Erica. A few days ago I had the chance to interview a student on a new school program called the V-Carve. Let's take a look. What can you tell us about the program? Hi, thank you. Like you said, this program is new to our school. and what you can do with it is endless. I mean, you design something on the computer which is later on put onto wood or metal or stone or whatever you would like it to be put on. Can you please explain to us uh, exactly how this program works? Yeah, of course. So, as soon as you've got your final design ready, you have to select all the vectors. So you just click and drag over top of it. You go to Tool Paths and you select Create V-Carve and you don't have to worry about all that. Once you hit calculate, it'll show the preview toolpath. So, as soon as we preview it, it'll show us what it will look like after it's been cut on the machine. If you like that, then you just save it. So we gotta close this. We go to the save toolpath, and we need to save it as Mach 2.3, right? So once you save it, save it as whatever you take that file, which is right here, and you transfer it to the other computer that this machine is hooked up to, and this pretty much is instructions telling the machine what to cut. We're here with Dylan Beaudry, who made his own guitar. So Dylan, what kind of wood is it, and where did you get it? Uh, well, the bottom part is cherry, and I got it from my barn, which we cut it down in our forest. And then the top part is spalted maple, which Mr. Charles was so kind enough to let me have. And that is, that is it. How did you design the guitar? Uh, on a program called V-Carve on the computers. We, I got a shape, like the body shape, off of, I think it was, I think it was Google Images. And then I just put it onto V-Carve and uh, designed, like, the pickup holes and all the, like, uh, that little B there, and uh, then we just cut it out on the uh, CNC machine. And how long did it take? It's about an hour and ten minutes, I believe. Thanks, Dylan. Now back to the desk.